the next lady that goes that comes up, you know, she has to walk like six feet to the to the front. So she and she comes. She looks up. I look up at her, and I'm gonna, you know, I'm gonna like I'm gonna give her the magic dust prayer. And she comes up, and she can't hardly walk. She can't hardly move. Like she's she's obviously in intense pain. In a little bit of compassion. <laughs> I don't even know where it came from. It came from somewhere. <laughs> it just bubbled up for a second. <laughs> and and I, I thought to myself, you know, I, I, I got to at least try, you know. So, so I asked her, you know, okay, you know, what's wrong? And I, to be honest, I completely do not remember her condition. But whatever it was, and remember this, she'd had it for 13 years. It was in all of her bones. I don't know if it was like arthritis or what it was. She could hardly walk. She said her pain level was like a 10 all the time. And, uh, and, and she was just, oh, she, she didn't even have to say it. she's miserable. She just obviously in tremendous pain. So I, I put my hands on her shoulders and I, and I said, okay, Holy Spirit. You know, and I'll just begin to do what we do, you know, pray for her. And immediately I heard this. It wasn't audible, but almost audible. I'm not going to heal her through you. I'm going to heal her through her husband. And I thought, well, that's good. That'll be a lot less. That'll take a lot less time. And then the, the Holy Spirit said to me, tell her husband to come up here. I'm like, oh, this could take a while. So I turned to the lady and I said to him, um, ma'am, just what I said to you, ma'am, the Lord, I just, just heard the Holy Spirit tell me he's not going to heal you through me, but he's going to heal you through your husband. Is your husband here? That's what she did. <laughs> she just looked at me. Have you ever had somebody not talk, but they have totally communicated to you? <laughs> Is your husband here? And she goes, yes. The same, yes. I said, man, you know, I'm like, oh, this doesn't sound good, you know. I said, can you, can you go get him? Okay. I said, well, you know, just go get him and I'll pray for this next lady and I'll wait for you. It's not a problem. Okay. So she, she's heading back. Now anxiety is beginning to grow in me because I'm like, well, that, that didn't go very well. So, so I'm praying for this lady, this last lady, and, and I'm keeping my eyes open because, you know, the Bible says watch and pray. So... And it, it, it takes the lady a while to get this, her husband's in the very back of our sanctuary. And so it takes her, obviously, oh, she can't walk very well, so it takes her a while to get back there. And so they're back there, and, and I can't hear them because they're too far away, but I can tell by their body language that they're in an argument. I'm like, oh. So I was, okay, Holy Spirit, please heal this person. <laughs> And so finally, you know, I get done praying for her, and, and she leaves, and, and, I, and I wait for another couple minutes, and, and she's coming up, and her husband's tailing behind her, you know, like eight, ten feet. And so she gets, you know, into the place where she's supposed to be, and, and I look over at him, and he goes, and he says to me, when he gets about this far away, he goes, what do you want? <laughs> what do you want? Like that. Do you have your brain, does your brain talk to you? My brain, my brain talks to me all the time. It's like, in and, and, and this voice, it goes. <laughs> so she goes, what do you want? And, and, and my brain's all, watch out, be careful. <laughs> I, I'm trying to act like I'm totally like have faith, right? <laughs> liar, liar, bets on fire. Liar, liar. <laughs> oh, the Holy Spirit talked to you. <laughs> Remember when he talked to you before? Did it work out? <laughs> so, I, so he goes, what do you want? You know, and I, I'm, I'm totally stressed out, but I'm trying to act like I'm not. And I said, I, you, the Lord told me that you're going you're gonna to put your hands on your wife and, she, and, and you're going to pray for her and she's going to get healed. He goes, I don't pray. Uh-oh, he doesn't pray. <laughs> Seriously. That's what I'm thinking. That's what my brain's doing. 
He goes, I don't pray. And she, she just goes like this. I'm like, I'm thinking, oh, I'm so sorry. I can't even believe I did this. And so, so he goes, I don't pray. Well, you know, and he's like six, eight feet from me. So I walk over there. I said, he goes, I don't pray. Well, I walk over while oh, I'm talking to him and I go, well, you do now. And I grabbed him by the arm. <laughs> now, I didn't drag him. I mean, he wasn't dragging, but he was resisting. <laughs> Trust me, there was no confidence in this. I didn't do this out of courage. I did it out of the poor lady. And so I said, so I, I take his hand and I put it on his wife. And I say, pray this prayer. And he looks at me as if to say, I don't pray. I said, pray this prayer, Jesus. He looks at me. I said, dude, just say Jesus. He said, Jesus. <laughs> He'd obviously used that name before in another context. <laughs> I said, I release healing on my wife in the name of Jesus. He looks at me like too many words. I said, I release. He said, I release. Healing, healing. Over my wife. Over my wife. In Jesus' name. Jesus. Uh, and before I could say anything else, he pulls his hand away and steps away. And I, I'm like. So, you know, I, she has her eyes closed. I have my eyes closed for other reasons. <laughs> and I'm thinking. Like, you know, this is a lot of drama. I'm thinking of reasons to tell her why sometimes healings are processed. Like they take sometimes, you know, two to five years. <laughs> you know, you plant, a, you know, an apple tree, takes time to bear fruit, you know. I, I'm thinking of all these things, like I'm totally like, oh, totally like, can't even, and I, and I say to myself, if this lady has any improvement, it'll be the greatest miracle I've ever seen since Lazarus came out of the grave. <laughs> so I have my head down, I have my eyes closed. She has her head down. He's over there, totally, totally angry. And, and so, and she goes, and just talk to herself, she goes, I think the pain's gone in my arms. And I opened my eyes. She said, I think the pain's gone. She's not talking to me though. She's talking to herself. She goes, I think the pain's gone on my arms. And, and so I look up and she goes, I think, I think the pain's gone in my, in my, in my legs. I, I'm, I know I'm supposed to say, we'll try it out, but I'm sure it'll come back. <laughs> so she said, I think the pain's gone in my legs. And, and he goes, you're kidding. I said, are you sure? <laughs> and she goes, I, I think, and now she starts to cry and she starts moving. And what I'm supposed to tell her to do, she just does. She goes, I think, I think the pain's gone in my, in, in my feet, in my legs, my, my back. My, my, and he keeps going, you are kidding. I keep going, are you sure? We're both yelling. <laughs> this is an absolutely true story. And so, and so this, this goes on for several minutes. Like she's walking back and forth and, and pretty soon she's, now she's wailing. She's wailing in joy. Oh my God, I, it's been 13 years. I have never, I haven't been without pain for 13 years. And he keeps, and this guy, is totally floored, and so am I. I cannot believe that she got healed. And, and so, she, and, you know, he keeps saying, you're kidding, and I keep saying, are you sure? <laughs> well, the short in the story, that it, it went on for a while. It, you know, they walked out hand in hand. Uh, I mean, the, seriously, all they needed was a sunset, man. It would have been a great movie. <laughs> So I get in my car, I've totally forgot about the game. I get in my car and I'm driving home, I'm all by myself in the car and I say out loud, Jesus, why did you heal her through him and not through me? He said he broke her, he can fix her. 
He said, just like that. He broke her, he could fix her. I said, how, how did he break her? He said, 14 years ago, he had an adulterous affair. Remember, she's had the pain for 13 years. 14 years ago, he had an adulterous affair. And, and he repented, and, he, and he's been faithful since, but she's never trusted him again. So I used the man who broke her to fix her, so not only would she get healed, but her marriage would be whole. <laughs>